So in this video, I'm going to explain what a frame shift mutation is. And so as a brief summary, let's just remember that eventually your DNA is going to be used to create proteins. So your DNA is going to be transcribed into RNA, mRNA, and then the mRNA is going to be translated into proteins. So as you can see here, it gives you the DNA sequence, but it doesn't go directly into the amino acid sequence. So you don't make, so you don't make amino acids directly from DNA. Now that we have that covered, it's time to talk about the frame shift mutation. So the definition of a frame shift mutation is when there's an insertion or deletion of nucleotides that is not a multiple of three. So as you can see right here, the CAG, CCC, ACT is your normal DNA sequence. However, if you add a T in this spot, you're going to create a different set of proteins. So the normal protein is shown right here. However, if you add this T codon here, it's going to eventually create a serine and a histidine, which differs from this proline and threonine. However, it's important to keep in mind that a frame shift mutation is going to change essentially every amino acid after the mutation. So this is a frame shift mutation. And a key thing here is that the nucleotides that are inserted is not a multiple of three. And that's important because down here you see you add three codons, three T codons, and then it's not going to create a frame shift mutation. It's just going to add another amino acid in. So as you can see here, it adds a phenylalanine. And generally, frame shift mutations are the most detrimental because it'll completely alter the protein. So as you can see here, if you add a T, it changes every protein after. So the proline becomes a serine and et cetera, et cetera. So all of these proteins after are going to be different, most likely. And then another thing that can happen is that you can run into a premature stop codon, which will cut the protein short, or you could not run into a stop codon for a much longer time and cause a longer protein to be made or a bigger protein. So these frame shift mutations are interesting because you have probably heard of some diseases that are caused by frame shift mutations. One of the diseases that are caused by frame shift mutations are Tay-Sachs. Additionally, a frame shift mutation was linked to resistance to infection by the HIV virus. So pretty much that sums it up for this video. Ultimately, what is the most important thing to get out of this video is that an frame shift mutation will either insert or delete a nucleotide, either one nucleotide or two nucleotides. So it'll either insert one nucleotide or two nucleotides or delete one nucleotide or two nucleotides. And then these mutations often cause the protein to be cut short and it often causes the protein to be dysfunctional. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.